Hello and welcome. I am Christina Mueller, and I am a food, wine, and travel writer based in the San Francisco Bay Area. I am delighted to share my experiences with you in my new video series. Today's edition brings me and my family to Mendocino, thanks to a generous invitation by the newly remodeled Heritage House Resort just outside of Mendocino. Some of the amazing things we experienced on our weekend visit were the Mendocino Coast Botanical Gardens, a winery in the Anderson Valley, and a family-run Yucatecan restaurant in Fort Bragg. Mendocino, named for a prominent Spanish viceroy, was founded in 1850 as a logging town in the heart of Northern California's majestic redwood forests. Today, visitors travel to Mendocino to experience its rugged natural beauty. See there's a, a hole over there in the rock. Yeah. You see it? I see it. And to experience the many charms of a small seaside town. Like most visitors to the area, we are driving to Mendocino by car, the most convenient way to travel along California's extensive coastline. Driving from San Francisco to the town of Mendocino takes about three hours. Allow ample time to stop in Anderson Valley. Situated about halfway between San Francisco and Mendocino, the cool climate here is well suited to growing Pinot Noir and Chardonnay, as well as Pinot Gris and Gewurztraminer. We were invited by owner Jeff Hansen to stop in at Lula Cellars, the newest entrant to the Valley's winery scene. Named for owner Jeff Hansen's maternal grandmother, Lula Cellars opened recently with a beautiful new tasting room surrounded by 15 acres of vines. Grab a seat to taste one of the seven well-made wines on the tasting menu. Gewürztraminer, um, for years made sweeter off the ride. Like Jeff says, Gewurztraminer wines used to be sweet, but Jeff's Gewurztraminer has orange blossoms on the nose and an almost tart finish. It would be an ideal companion for everything from a turkey sandwich to stuffed mushroom canapes. Made from five grape clones grown in a nearby vineyard at an altitude of 2,000 feet, the Rosato is a standout. It hints of strawberries, but the acidity is crisp and fresh a refreshing beverage with any sort of dressed salad. Do not leave until you have tried the Pinot Noirs. Lula makes three, and though they range in style from modern to classic, their elegance is undisputed. These wines are impossibly hard to get, so savor them while you can. Once back in the car, continue on Highway 128 through a grove of towering redwoods. There are plenty of places to pull over and snap some pictures before you emerge from the dappled shade to the first glimpse of the coast. After a short drive, we arrived at the Heritage House Resort and I was immediately taken by the charm of the 137-year-old main building and sweeping sea views. Originally built in 1877 as a family home with adjacent barn, the 37-acre waterfront property is in the middle of a modernization project. Our room had a rainforest shower and deep soaking tub in the bathroom, and comfortable couches and cozy chairs like these for lounging in front of the fireplace, all with waterfront views. Accommodations are separate from the resort's main building, offering privacy and tranquility to each and every guest. After you have settled into your room, it is time to explore the Heritage House. Walk back to the main lodge for a handcrafted cocktail at the lodge's 5200 restaurant and lounge, like this delicious orchard mule, a modern riff on the classic Moscow mule. Dine here or in the main dining room. With dishes like Mendocino crab risotto, wild mushroom tartine, and Noyo Harbor salmon, the French-accented American menu from chef Fabrice Dubuc captures the spirit of the area and is sure to please even the most finicky eater. After a restful evening and a custom breakfast the next morning, 
head a few miles north of the Heritage House to the town of Mendocino. Park your car, as the town is compact and best explored on foot. Peek into the many boutiques that line the streets. Enjoy a bite to eat at one of the fine restaurants, or walk out onto the sea-facing bluff just south of town and gaze at the blue waters of the Pacific Ocean. Adventurers big and small will enjoy the numerous state parks and hiking trails throughout the area, and beachcombers have their choice of countless beaches. The Heritage House even boasts its own beach. Walk down a steep flight of stairs to an intimate cove, perfect for skipping stones or finding treasures tossed onto the sand. If you are lucky, you might see skin divers harvesting abalone and sea urchin. These hard-won treasures of the sea are globally renowned as the best tasting of their kind. Look for Mendocino uni and abalone on menus around the world. The next morning, we drove to Fort Bragg, about 10 miles north of Mendocino. Our first stop was the Mendocino Coast Botanical Gardens, a haven for local and migrating birds. Spread along 47 acres, the Mendocino Coast Botanical Garden is known for its collection of rare and endangered local plants. Journey along its easy-to-navigate paths and trails through a rhododendron grove, fields of heath and heather, a redwood grove flanked by a burbling brook, and garden after garden of perennial flowers. Walk out to the coast to listen to the surf pounding the shore, and you just may see a whale pod in its annual migration. After such a beautiful walk, a delicious lunch is in order. Pass by the fishing boats docked at Fort Bragg's busy Noyo Harbor to find Mayan Fusion. Owned and operated by Silver Canoel, a native of the Yucatan, the food is definitively Mexican, with the freshness that has come to symbolize California cuisine. Dishes such as grilled Mayan sweet white corn dressed with lime butter and Parmesan cheese, salbutes, flash-fried tortillas topped with fresh bay shrimp and a dollop of guacamole, or house-made empanadas stuffed with chicken and cheese and topped with pickled onion are Mexican through and through. No matter what you order at this casual restaurant, the quality and flavor of the chef's food makes this a hidden gem worth discovering. We would not have discovered it without the support of VisitMendocino.com, one of the guides for our visit. Thanks, Allison. Our tummies full, all anyone could think about after our meal was heading back to our room for a nap and a luxurious bath in our room's fabulous bathtub. As we were driving, we heard the whistle of the area's famed skunk train and pulled over to watch the historic train back into the Fort Bragg station after its weekend run to the Redwoods. My boys found this experience particularly irresistible. Whether it is the beauty of the beaches, the awe-inspiring grandeur of the redwoods, the botanical gardens, or a delicious meal at one of Mendocino's many restaurants, a trip to Mendocino offers something for everyone. And if luck is with you, a rainbow just may follow you all the way home. <laughs> <laughs>